hello everyone so here is the cinematic that we recorded using the tech recorder and yesterday we uh, I showed you how to render the sequence recorded sequence with the elements of the UI but here we have one small problem the problem is in this step uh, we it's okay that we are seeing these uh, hard elements that is relevant to this building but when I go here, I should start seeing the hard elements that is relevant for this building. So even though the camera motion and the UI elements are properly rendered in the uh, sequence, we still don't see this uh, widget switching part or the widget event or UI event is not captured in the sequence. and we are going to do a work around for that today so i couldn't find a way to make the ui events record using the tech recorder ui event mean things like button clicks i couldn't find a straightforward way to do that so instead of that we are going to simulate the same effect but here what we are going to do is we're going to create a new blueprint let's call it ep ui event and if you go to this ui bp wbp weaver hut here you see two buttons build in a button and build in b button and basically you need to simulate the clicks of these two buttons through the cinematic and fire those events that click these buttons through the cinematic so that the ui changes will appear when we play the video when we play the cinematic or when we render the cinematic okay so for that here if i go to the button press event this is uh, button A click and this is button B click. Let me create a custom event. And and I'm just it. And here another custom event B T N B in the same part okay now in the event handler what is it your event handler drop we don't need this event custom event another custom event Click A, click and click B. So here I'll get all widgets of class, and this is WBP Weaver Hut. Is valid. Let's make sure we do have a valid event at the valid element here. Otherwise, we will run into some errors. Get the first one and DM click. Similar way. For the click B. Now here instead of I'll call B T and B click. Okay. Now to simulate the click event. Let me open the sequence. 
here and also let me drag and drop this event handler objects also to the same to the sequence like this by the way if the recorded sequence is locked you can use this button to unlock it event handler here i'll add a track a event trigger track now initially we don't really need to click anything and at here we need to click the building b button so let me add a key event here then we'll right click on the key properties and endpoint we can do a quick bind let's say click b now this event is bound to click b okay now if by this is already plain sequence this already plain at the beginning out of plane now if i play the sequence you see here we see the ui elements and then switch to building a building b oh actually i did it too soon let me go back okay here i moved this uh, event key over here so that's where it start switching to the other building see like this and now everything works perfectly Let me show you now we see the element your elements for the building a and here i switch to building b and then i start seeing the ui element for the building b okay and if you want to test if this is working with the rendering as well close everything here cinematics move render queue render scene one config make sure that you have added the ui renderer accept and render look Here you see the rendering uh, preview okay see the folder you see the ui elements are there this is you see slowly because i'm previewing it with the images now let me just jump to a different image where we see this you see this button is already switched and now here you see the built-in b okay so yeah rendering is also working without any problem all right that's all i want to cover in this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions. Also, just a reminder, once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits. Uh, and here is the full playlist of this system that you have seen here, where I implemented this uh, Design Weaver system. So I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description. And yeah, see you in another episode. Goodbye.